It's been decades since this rivalry began. Even though I can remember a time when the thought of driving a Subaru WRX STI and a Mitsubishi Evolution back to back on American soil legally was almost impossibly exotic. The fact is that both cars have been available to US consumers for years now. Access to the tamed rally fighters hasn't made time behind their respective wheels any less thrilling. But time past has seen the STI and the Evo take similar paths to very different destinations. Subaru has found remarkable success in America over the last half decade and has recommitted to its Halo STI with a new generation born in 2015. Mitsubishi, meanwhile, has struggled to find its way. The Evo 10 that you see here carries a final edition badge, but the car is roughly the same as it was when it was newly introduced nearly a decade ago. This isn't a comparison test, but when we lined up both machines for a back-to-back -back drive on a cold, sloppy, wet spring day, we could hardly miss the opportunity to document it. After all, this may be our last chance. I love the Evo and the STI. They're the type of cars that I would buy. They're sort of geared towards me. I've driven them a lot on this road specifically. I've driven them, you know, at home, abroad, everywhere. I know them better than I know most other cars I've ever tested. I've always had a real soft spot for the Evo. It's a car that I love. I think it's incredibly intense and still pretty approachable. It's not exactly a good daily driver, but it's, you know, something I always have a ton of fun with. If I was gonna buy one of these cars today before driving them, it'd be the Subaru. That's the one that's been updated the most over the past few years. I think it's the better car to live with every day. It's more comfortable, it has more features. The Evo to me just feels like you're spending 40 grand on a Lancer. better. <laughs> it is. I mean, they've made the STI better in every single regard versus yeah. the outgoing car, for sure. And I think, for me, the biggest thing is actually not, not powertrain, not transmission, nothing like that, but it's the suspension. I think that overall, on a good road like this, when you're cornering in the old car, I felt so much kind of tippiness, and it just felt a little softly sprung for a car uh, that's meant to be like a sports car. And this one doesn't really have any of it used to be really easy to say, well, you know, the Evo's the one that's got great steering feel. The Evo's the one that's got, you know, you can feel the road through the chassis and really talks to you. Sure. Um, I still think it's a little bit ahead of the STI in that regard, but know, it's man. way closer than it used to be. At yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely closer. I will say this is probably, out of all of the Evo STI comparisons that, you know, you and I have done, right. um, this one is the closest yet. All right, so one thing I noticed immediately is that you've got um, what seems to be a much more natural driving position in this car for you than, than in the, in the Evo. This steering wheel telescopes, you know? Right. The, this, the headrest on this one kind of tilts forward and backward. Like, this car just feels better. The seats the seats in that car are like just the base cloth Lancer seats, but these are the WRX and STI seats. They're not just base and Brezza seats. So another cool advantage, I think, in any way, that Subaru has over the Evo is it's got this fancy center differential adjustment where you can leave it in auto, you can kind of change it to be more front biased, rear biased, you can do all sorts of things to it. Yeah. Plus it's got the different driving modes. It's got intelligent, sport, sport, sharp. So, I mean, as much as I love a car that you can just get in and it's always one way all of the time and goes, I like that this one at least allows you to dial in how much of that SCI experience you really want. But I do think that like there's a strong argument to be made that there's a lot more technology making this car go fast and go around a corner well totally. than there is in the Evo. Right? Yeah, the Evo, and I think that that is a good credit to Mitsubishi at least that it's so set up, you know, nicely from the get-go right. that it doesn't necessarily need any of that. But it almost makes me wonder, you know, if the Evo would be better or maybe worse if it did have a lot of that stuff. If it had computers and gadgets and things controlling so much of it. I, I think that, yeah, you would think you'd see a completely different vehicle if Mitsubishi had the lavish development budget that right. Subaru has had. <laughs> you know, we can argue these two cars back and forth all day long, and we, we are, but the fact that we've got Evo versus STI, it's a little sad that this is the last time we're going to do this. I know, absolutely. Like, that bums me out. I may not love the Evo as much as I love the STI, but I'd still rather drive that car more than 
you know, any mainstream product. Right, totally. Well, let's go drive the Evo. Let's do it. Pull out right here. I'll pull out wherever I want. This shifter is... The throws are longer, first of all. No, they're not. They are. They're, they are. They no, just are. They're crazy. But it, the shifter itself is shorter. That's right, why. that's what I mean. Final edition. Final edition, not limited edition. The last Evo. The last one. Um, so right off the bat, I will say, you're right. The, <laughs> the torque definitely just kind of like, uh, there yeah. you go. Yeah. I mean, does. this thing just hits. What was the phrase you used the other day? Smacks, smacks in the ass? ass. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, the torque in this car is way more <laughs> readily available. It is, and you feel it more. And part, of this is, part of this is because I completely recognize the fact that because the gauges of the plastic and the glass <laughs> and the metal between us and the engine are much thinner than they right. are in the Subaru, right? Right. There's not as much stuff separating you. No, but, there's, uh, I mean, the, the whole thing feels like a big, a big Japanese tin can. <laughs> but with a giant engine stuffed in the front of it. <laughs> right. Only it's not that big. It's, it's not more that like big. a giant turbo. It is a giant turbo. Well, that's the thing is it's, you know, a typical Mitsubishi form. It's just the standard two liter engine. They were like, yeah, let's give it a big turbo. I think that you feel the road a lot more through that wheel than you do through the, through the STI, unquestionably. It's a quicker rack. It's a much quicker turn, and I it think is that a quicker means turn. it's jittier, uh, uh, more jittery a lot of times. I will, I will give you that for sure. I know that you were talking about that earlier, saying that like steering's a little more direct in this car. I don't necessarily feel it. It feels a little twitchier, if I'm honest. Is that better? <laughs> I mean, at least it sounds good. It sounds fucking amazing. It sounds it, great. <laughs> Sorry. But Jesus. It's so hard to hear. It is. This it's interior is just crap, crap, <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Right. Like, Get it out of your system. Like, can you? Get it out of your system. Can we just talk about how that feels? <laughs> My God. All right. So I feel like you're having fun driving this I'm one. I'm having a good time. <laughs> um, you know, we've already we've already spoken of development budgets or their lack, and we know that even circa 2005, when Mitsubishi was, you know, like dotting the I's and crossing the T's for this car, Mitsubishi didn't have a lot of money to lavish on the interior of its Halo model. It was spending all that money on the Galants at the time. So, uh, no, it's not a nice interior. It's not a nice interior. It doesn't matter. Here's the thing. I think that it's silly to think of. The super special models of performance variants of cars as daily drivers because okay. that's not what they're intended to do. So where I completely buy your argument that the STI is the better daily driver, it's easier to live with, and if you want to drive a quick car every day, that would be the one to have. Sure. This is the car that makes it feel like a special occasion when you're in it. From everything else that we talked about before, all of the, the visceral sense of it, like the sound, the acceleration, the kind of extremely pointy handling. All that stuff is something that I want to have happen when I take a car out on a Saturday, because I want sure. to drive. So I think that there's something in the blend of like performance and rarity of this car that makes it, um, you know, always really exciting for me to get behind the wheel. But I don't and think you're so plugged in. I you love are. the fact that you're so connected. But I don't think the people that are buying this car are buying it as a second car. I really don't think that's the case. Oh, well then, yeah, those are dumb people. <laughs> So we had a great day today. We had some crappy weather and it was pretty much perfect for the cars. The roads were wet, they were sloppy, and we had a fantastic time. That's what these cars are made for. Absolutely. So did you change your mind at the end of the day? <laughs> no way. Uh, the STI is definitely the car I'd have. From a daily driver standpoint, yeah, it is better. But even beyond that, it's more fun. I feel more connected in it. It's just, it's the one for me. But I know you'd rather have the Evo, right? I would, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't really want to have either one of the cars as a daily driver. So if it's going to be my second car, I think the Evo is more special and it's the one that I, I just love more. Yeah. But I think we can both agree. They're both special. They're both amazing. Great day. Good time. Enthusiasts, every one of us should enjoy the fact that these cars exist while they do. Totally. All right. Well, for Motor One, I'm Seth Mirsma. I'm Steven Ewing. Thanks for watching.
This one's the better color too, so it wins. Yeah. Um, you can't get a hyper blue Evo.